you doing? I've concealed a video camera in my sandwich, Mari. <clears throat> Smack the chicken! <laughs> Wayne Cramp! Deflate your sibling and put that glove where it belongs! Do you play class? Now! <laughs> Switch it off, Mari. We need all the tape for when we uncover the animal testing lab. Lucian Cramp! Haskem does not have an animal testing laboratory! You asked about that last time and were told to keep your bizarre conspiracy theories to yourself. Do you understand? Yes, Miss Hissy. Little chicken lady egg. Ah! Hello, children. Miss Hissy. Haskam would like to welcome you all back again. It's such a treat to see so many familiar faces. Mr. Winkle, sir. Hi, Daddy! Mr. Winkle is the president of our prestigious soap factory. That's right, kids. Me and my bubbles have made Soap City everything it is today. Now, if uh, someone would just point out my daughter, I'd like to take her on one of Daddy's special tours again. Ew! Come along, Sugar Plum. The factory is no place for my little honey blossom. Okay, Daddy. Just a minute. Daddy? We will now proceed to the vat room, boys and girls. If you do not have your own gas mask, Hascam recommends that you hold your breath. Now. <laughs> hey! I don't want to take this stupid tour. Where's my daddy? <laughs> no. Take the sandwich can. Let's go! I don't know, Lucian. Even if they do have a secret animal testing lab, wouldn't they keep it all locked or, or have a security guard or something? <gasps> what? Is that it? Is that the animal testing lab? You want more candy, hun? Yeah! Lots, Daddy Ken! More candy in here, Norris. No, that's not the animal lab. That was disturbing. Let's move on. Look, Lucian. It's a plant testing lab. They've got those poor little daffodils all wired up in here. Sorry, Mari. I, uh, I know I should care, but I don't. Hey, Mari, look. This is it. This seems a little on the plush side for an animal testing lab, don't you think? True, but how do you explain that? It's a monkey. A sick-looking monkey. A poor, innocent creature who should be hanging out in an unfettered rainforest, swinging from nature's great vines, not cooped up and tortured for the sake of softer soap. Oh. Have they been feeding him flavored soaps? They probably got shampoo in his little eyes and everything. Mmm, artificial strawberry. We must liberate this poor, pathetic creature. I'm gonna get the red one this year. Well, that's the one that makes you itch. Yeah, but the green one stings your eyes. Hey, Wendy, I didn't know your dad was so generous. <gasps> My candy! My candy! I wonder how long the jail sentence is for monkey napping. Of course, you are underage, and you'd be advised to plead insanity. I could certainly testify to that. This is an act of mercy, Mari. If I am guilty of anything, it is having conscience and principles. Ah, ah, ah. Please, Dad, please. He's fully mature and probably house-trained. I just want to nurse him until he's ready to be released back into the wild. Oh, look at his <coughs> toenails. One's ingrown. He's not even fully able to clutch and peel for himself. I don't know, Lucian. He looks a little on the brain damage side. Ah, oh. oh, don't worry, Dad. That's just his way of saying he likes you. Go on, Dad, say it! Make girl pants get rid of the gimpy little chimpy! It's a monkey, not a chimp, Wayne. Chimps are apes. Yeah? Well, you're a flab face. Flab face? <laughs> I must say I agree with Wayne on this matter. See? Even Mom says you're a flab face. What am I supposed to do?
supposed to do if I get monkey stains on my carpets? Mom, please, he's an orphan. A wild animal mistreated at the hands of the greedy, soap-crazed capitalist industry. That may be so, Lucian, but it does not make him hygienic. Oh, your mom's right, son. Have you no heartstrings? Primates are people, too. This is a crime against monkeyanity. I don't care what you say. He needs me. I'm keeping him. What? In all sterility? Who used up my kitchen soap? Nah, Bubbles would be too much of a circus name. Yeah, you're right. You better not use Wayne's toothbrush. You'll get germs. Here, you can share mine. I know. I'll call you Thomas Edison, in honor of the great inventor who brought a little light into our lives. Your days of soapy humiliation are over. I'll never be to send you back. Please, make my room your new home. Well, good night, Thomas Edison. I'll see you tomorrow. No! Thomas Edison! <gasps> oh, Thomas Edison, you're safe! <laughs> Wayne, what have you been doing to Thomas Edison? What does it look like? We're having breakfast, Eco Geeko. This is soap, Wayne. If Thomas Edison has been eating this, he could get sick. Don't be stupid. He loves that stuff. <clears throat> he chose it himself. Oh, he eats soap. Now that is hygienic. What a remarkable creature. Oh, oh, and look, Mom, he can do tricks, too. You can have some more soap if you show Lucian how much you like him. Ow! My, my, uh, he's intelligent, too. Hey, I thought you all hated Thomas Edison. Don't be silly, Lucian, dear. Yeah, we love this gimpy little chimp. <laughs> I think he's becoming my favorite toy. I need to test his other fluids, too. <laughs> Can I have a turn with Thomas Edison now, Dad? Oh, sorry, son, but uh, we're uh, right in the middle of something. Oh, no. <laughs> He's got me again. <laughs> Just a basket case, but it was my basket case first! No, actually, little boy, he was mine. Mr. Mr. Winkle, what are you doing here? I've come to get Bubbles, my pet chimp. Your chimp? Oh, it's a monkey, Mr. Winkle, not a chimp. Chimps are members of the ape... Don't get clever with me, Bright Eyes. I've had that animal ever since I became president of the soap factory. Me and my chimp friend, Bubbles, made Soap City what it is today. He's my personal seer and good luck charm, and I've come to take him back where he belongs. Don't let him take my chimp away! Tough luck, son, but being boss is nine-tenths of the law. <laughs> that monkey really loves you. Goodbye, Thomas Edison. You are a housewife's dream. And not a bad ranch hen, either. Whoa! I wish I was a monkey. Wish granted.
My brother loves clowns. He thinks you're aces. Ooh, a silent clown. Even better. Made you talk! I hate you. Oh, naughty clown! Not supposed to speak! Bad clown! Littering is a crime! Clown get the sack! Work in discount shops! Whoa! The putt and trap! A new amusement park! Ah! Shut up. It's got trampolines and mini pot and everything! I've seen it. It's pathetic. Just some guy's backyard with a couple of old trampolines in it! I don't care. It says fun. See? I like fun. But it's crawling with lousy clowns! Well, that's double, triple, super good. Cause then you won't go! But clowns are scary! Yeah, if you're a girl, Pants. No, think about it, Queen. Why do they hide beneath all that makeup and uncoordinated clothing? What sort of evil are the silent clowns keeping quiet about? Aw, uh, why don't you keep quiet? There's lots of things scarier than clowns. Uh, like what? Hi, Wayne. Like that. You're looking yummy. You want to play with me today? No. I'll buy you dinner. Forget it. You can have a whole thing. Okay. Really? You'll go? Yeah. If you don't. It won't happen again. Ah, uh, I am forgiven. Where's your brother going? Talk! Oh. To the new trampoline and mini pot park! He loves trampolines! Not gonna squeal, huh? Okay, if that's the way you wanna play it up. Ah, oh, you're too easy. I need my weenie. <laughs> Wayne loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me not. <gasps> oh no! My poor Wayne! What have I done? Poor Wayne. Now you're too injured to go anywhere, and you'll have to stay here so I can nurse you back to health and. <gasps> <laughs> Perhaps you'd be interested in this lovely trampolette. Perhaps I'd be interested in that. Oh, I'm afraid not, young lady. That's the Big Bounce 5000. It's for trained athletes only, or you must pass a rigorous three-hour written, oral, and physical exam to purchase it. Oh, how about the Little Dribble 150? It's a favorite among toddlers and retirees. Daddy? Hi! I want a Big Bounce 5000 trampoline. Yes, Daddy, now! Please tell the salesman. Uh-huh. I, I understand. Uh, but the problem is... Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Winkle. Of course. No problem. No problem. Whatever Wendy Kins wants. Thank you so much, Daddy. Wendy loves you. And, oh, Daddy, one more thing. Could you buy the Putt and Tramp Amusement Park?
Well, yes. But of course, that's only for trained athletes. Why don't you try one of these? Because those are rubbish! I want to try the big bounce! Oh, I'm afraid that one's way too dangerous for you, sweet knees. Out of my way! Huh, too dangerous. My middle name is Dane. <laughs> It's just bruised, and it's the other one. Oh, silly me. Double silly me. You're going to have to stay off your feet for a while. Let's play dolls to pass the time. I don't play dolls. I'm sorry to hear you say oh! that. Oh! Oh! Put me down! Are you sure you don't want to play dolls? Okay, okay. <laughs> You can play with my Wayne doll. You've got a Wayne doll? That's sick. Ugh. Give me a different one. Oh, all right. But I have to go into my toy vault and get one. Now, don't go anywhere. You could get hurt. Again. I am out of here. So is it the clown bit or the mind bit you find disturbing? Both. But clowns aren't bad. They make themselves deliberately ridiculous just to make us laugh. I know. That's what makes it so bad. They go to all that trouble and they're still not funny. I, I don't get it. Don't you see? They know I know they're not funny. They can sense it. And? And they don't like that. Makes them all mad. And a mad clown is a dangerous thing indeed. You've got it bad. This milk will help you sleep through the night. But I can't stay the night. <laughs> oh, look what you've done. Spilled it all over you. Now I'll have to make another trip to the kitchen. Stay right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> <sighs> 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 